Howdy folks, Jeff Camardi. It is uh, Thursday, May 14th. Uh, ooh, looks like it's another bad hair evening. Please forgive uh, that I haven't taken the time. The trouble with my hair that uh, my audience uh, rightfully deserves. Uh, sorry about that. But uh, um, in any event, not a whole lot to report. Another uh, kind of nowhere market day. Uh, the foreign markets closed uh, down pretty big last night or early this morning, and the U.S. markets uh, were down quite a bit at one point and uh, staged a bit of a comeback rally to close uh, um, marginally in the green, not really much, uh, much either way. And uh, but you know, the, to put things in perspective, the stock market after going down precipitously, dropping like a stone for most of March. Um, staged a bit of a comeback um, and has kind of been bouncing off this level uh, really for uh, for quite a while now. I'm no technician, uh, but but some might uh, suggest that is resistance here and going higher, and you know it's uh, um, uh, not really getting through um, that this level to highs, which kind of presages maybe another down leg. Uh, I'm not that well trained in that area, but I do know that the economic news continues to darken worldwide. Um, there is uh, one, uh, one, uh, one doctor, I think, uh, that uh, mentioned one of the papers this morning that, uh, that we could be looking at the darkest winter in modern times, and not only economically, but in terms of sickness and death. Um, so we're still, you know, expecting or still believe that the market hasn't fully priced in uh, the inevitability of uh, this pallor that COVID has, has uh, really uh, dropped on world economic activity, uh, and uh, we, we think things are going much lower. Still happening in cash. We'll see. I'm mean, going to hope I'm wrong. You know, we still are marginally invested and, and are prepared to get back in when we think the tide has turned, uh, but we think there's a whole lot of uh, seawater yet to go out the inlet uh, before we would make that call. And that's pretty much uh, it for uh for now, I wish you all well. Looking forward to another uh, and hopefully a cheery report tomorrow, Friday, uh, the 15th, as we approach mid-March. Can you believe it? The year is uh, is pushing half over uh, in a month and a half, and uh, it's just so real. It seems like, you know, we're stuck here in March uh, in, um, in, a, in, a, in a B science fiction movie or something. Oh, well, uh, enough, of, enough of that uh, that dribble. Until tomorrow, thank you so much for watching.